Hey everybody, it's Andy aka Max Ryder. We are back with another unboxing video. Now this one is coming from Captain Co. Captain Co. Captain Company. I think it's Captain Company uh, from Santa Rosa, California. It is, um, I don't know, it's a little bit flimsily packaged unless there is another box underneath here and I can't tell. So, and this got a little wet as you can see and I'm hoping that the books aren't just in this box. It's a terrible day for it to come. It is raining. It, it's just raining. And so, I mean, it's snowing. And so it's wet. It's gross out. Oh, okay. I was mistaken. It looks like there is some protection here. Um, we've got... See if I can get this out of here. You might hear my printer in the background. I'm printing something right now. But I wanted to get this. Oh, this is not coming out. All right, we're gonna have to go down the side. And get this guy open that way. Oh, there we go. All right, so, oh, that's why it's not coming because it is taped in. So these people actually did a fantastic job of packaging this, it looks like, or at least a very good one. And it's glued to the package. Wow, okay, I stand corrected. This is a crappy packaging, but at the same time, they then sealed it in another bag. They've taped it down very solidly to the, um, to the backing that they used to protect it. And I'm impressed. I'm impressed with Captain Co. or Captain Company or whatever the heck it's called. They don't make it easy to get your product out but they protect it, and that's what counts. Let's get rid of this stuff, and let's see what we have got here. I'm pretty certain I know, I know what this is. And I just have to figure out a way to get this off without damaging the product within. Oh my gosh, all right. Press firmly to seal. Oh, I see. I'm, just, I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to damage it. Jeez. We're going to be spending this entire thing just opening this package. This is double wrapped. Hold on. There are, looks like there are two, two mailing envelopes. All right. They have done an exemplary job here. And I guess I'm never going to get this open. So there it is. There's our product. No, no, no. Hold on. Okay. Oh, no, they haven't double wrapped it. This is an envelope folded on itself. So it's, instead of being double wrapped like I thought, what it is, is this priority mail envelope has just been folded over. There's probably an easier way to do this. These are in shrink wrap too, holy crap. Or maybe um, they're just in uh, protective covering. I'm getting impatient and I need to not rush because I don't want to do damage. Bingo. So close. We did it. Oh my goodness. Woo! That feels like uh So what we've got is, okay. We've got Erwin Allen's Lost in Space, The Lost Adventures. This is volume one, The Curious Galactus. Now these were originally printed as three separate comic books and this is volume two, Malice in Wonderland. Let's go ahead and get the shrink wrap off and take a quick look. So these, each of these volumes, they came, they originally sold as six comic books. And, and each of the volumes, or each of the, uh, each, uh, I guess each comic book was three, each episode was three comic books long, but uh, I found that it was actually cheaper to buy these volumes, which is fine. Uh, these are hardback. <clears throat> I love Lost in Space. I don't know how many people here know that. We got some free stickers too. So, um, these are by Carrie Wilbur, and the Curious Galactics is the first one. Wow, this has never been opened. This is stiff. 
Oh, there's a script in the back. Pictures, and here are the comic books. I stumbled across these online, and I was like, oh, cool. So I started to read the first one, and uh, really started to enjoy it. And so I just decided to, to go ahead and get them. This is going to be a bit of a long video. Let's go ahead and read the back. This is uh, The Curious Galactus, Volume 1. Continuing a game from fans. Erwin Allen's beloved sci-fi classic returns. Continuing... Continuing to gain fans even 50 years after its network television debut in 1965, Lost in Space is a beloved family saga about space exploration, charming and well ahead of its time. The show was prematurely canceled in its third season, but prolific television writer Carrie Wilbur had already penned several scripts for a fourth. Now, thanks to Prometheus Entertainment and her own Allen Estate, American Gothic Press can present these unseen stories to the public for the very first time. Collected in this edition are three issues that make up The Curious Galactics, an episode about how the relationship between John and Will Robinson is put to the test due to the meddling of a couple of nosy aliens. And then, of course, Malice in Wonderland, adapted from the second of two unfilmed teleplays by Carrie Wilbur, AGP's... <clears throat> Uh, Malice in Wonderland is a welcome journey back to the antics of the Robinson family, the robot, and the perpetually overwhelmed Dr. Smith. When Will Penny and the robot and Dr. Smith are whisked off to a strangely shaped dimension populated by characters from literature, they must solve a baffling riddle before beheading an overzealous queen of hearts. Series cover artist Patrick uh, McAvoy infuses the classic sci-fi property with a psychedelic twist. This comic is a complete tight package brought together by the talented and dedicated team. Amazing stories. So I'm, I have no idea what this one is about, except what I just read. There are some bits of script and the three comic books, and I look forward to reading these. So there you go, folks. There is uh, The Curious Galactics and Malice in Wonderland. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I appreciate it, and I will talk to you all next time.